Hello, hello. Please say hi when you join. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Sandra. Who else is on? Hey, Margaret. This isn't the replay. This is the live. <laughs> so anytime you see that little live button up in the top left corner of a video, you know you're actually seeing it live. Um, otherwise, yeah, you're watching a replay. But yeah, you're on live with us today, Margaret. So glad to have you. <laughs> Where are you from? There's a good portion of us that are from Oklahoma. How are you doing, Sandra? How are all of you? <laughs> Please say hi when you jump on. Rhode Island. That's right. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you've told me that before. Sounds familiar. Oh, did you really? Hey, Joanne. Um, yeah, you might notice that these are in the new colors. The card we're making today is in all in the in all five of the new colors. So, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> for for real, Sandra. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired of allergies. I'm done. I'm totally done. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I know some people will probably jump on as we go, but um, for anybody who doesn't know me, I'm Jerry Mobley. I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And um, you can reach me at uh, my phone number. You can text me or you can reach me at my website. Um, my email's there and I don't know, uh, my shopping page, everything. <laughs> so um, hello, Martha. You did what? Oh, you noticed. <laughs> okay. Um, so, anyway, uh, I'm so glad to have everyone on that is live with me. And if you are watching the replay later, please let me know that you're watching the replay. Just say watching replay or just replay. I don't mind. Um, and tell me where you're from. And for those of you that are on live with me, what are you drinking right now? <laughs> What's in your cup? I'm having my green smoothie. This is my green goddess smoothie. Yes, it's my recipe. <laughs> and um, we are going to make this really fun fun fold. And I've got two versions here. So I'm going to show you. I'm actually going to show you how to make this one because it's a little simpler. But I wanted you to see this one too. So I actually got this design from... Um, um, I just lost her name. <laughs> this happens to me every single time I try to think of her name. I don't know why. Hold on. I, I know who it is. I can get it if I just look at something. Rachel Tessman. <laughs> That's who it is. I don't want to not give her credit. And I don't know if this is her design or not. Um, hot tea, water, ginger ale. Ginger ale's yummy. Sorry, I'm, I'm just reading what everybody is drinking, or at least what some of you are drinking. <laughs> um, anyway, so I just saw her do this particular fun fold, and I was like, oh, I really like that. I'm going to play with that. So, um, and I, you know, mine's a little different, but, um, and of course, my own design. But um, the actual, like, dimensions and stuff are the same. 
So basically you have a card like this and it's like, how do you open this? And you slide this over. So if you want to pull like a, put a like pull me thing here, you can, or a ribbon attached to the back of this to pull, but it opens like that. And then you open that up and there's your card. So this one that I changed, I used the, um, what is it called? Sorry. Um, I used the curvy, one of the curvy borders, um, to do this, which was a little bit challenging. I have to admit to get this all lined up, but, um, and it is a little bit deep. So you kind of have to go like that to open it. So it is definitely easier to, um, to do this one than over this one. I mean, I like the looks of this one a lot, but this is beautiful too. So, so anyway, so this is the one we're actually making today and you can see it opens up a little more easily. You still have to kind of, well, I guess I didn't have it all the way over, so you don't, but anyway, so what do you guys think? Do you like this card? Sandra's having ginger ale too. <laughs> Well, I hope you do. I hope you all like this card because this is what we're making today and I'm excited. So, um, let's, let me move this. Oops, sorry, I'm making a mess already. Okay, so let me tell you what, you, what you'll need for this card. So your base, um, your card base is going to be five and a half by 10 and a half. We're gonna cut that and score that together. So I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Oh, great. I'm glad you guys like it. So five and a half by 10 and a half. We're going to do that in here in just a second. Then the other pieces that you're going to need are a piece of white cardstock and one of your um, designer series papers in the four by five and a quarter. I have another designer series paper here at two and a half by five and a quarter. And I'm actually going to talk about that in a minute. This is my insert. It's going to be two and I can't even talk today. Two and three quarters by four. And then we have, I guess I'll put this up here. Um, we have some scraps. So this piece is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Obviously it could be bigger. We're going to cut some dies out of these two by two, one and a quarter by one and a quarter and one by one. So these are going to be used to cut things out with. Okay, so I'm going to move some of these things over, and we're going to need these for die cutting, so I'm going to set these aside, and let's first talk about the stuff that we need to cut with the trimmer. Um, and yes, this is using all of the new in colors, which I'm very excited about. So we're going to put our paper in here portrait size style and we're going to cut this at five and a half. Now this is not how I normally cut a card because as you can see they're not equal but that's because this card has extra folds to it so it's it's a bigger card so you're only going to get one from each um each large piece of paper. Okay so then we are going to cut off we need this to be ten and a half so we're going to cut off half an inch. And so I'm just going to put it in my trimmer here and go to half an inch on this side and cut that little piece off. You could use that on another card. Oh, okay, Kathy. Well, it was nice to say hi. <laughs> okay. So first we're going to score this at four and a quarter, but just a little bit less. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm going to go like seriously like a smidgen less than four and a quarter okay oops sorry wrong place smidgen less than four and you can't see that where are you there it is smidgen less than four and a quarter okay so and there's a reason why I'm doing that so that the fold will fit inside okay then I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and Pull this out here then I'm gonna go to eight and a half eight and a half there you are and score again okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pencil 
I'm going to flip this over, okay? And I'm going to take a pencil and I am going to put this where this score line is on the one inch mark and the edge of my paper here is on the one inch mark on this side. And I am going to just make a little pencil mark right in the groove, okay? Now, I'm going to follow that pencil mark and I'm gonna leave it in the groove and I'm gonna adjust this so that the corner, hopefully you can see this, so that the corner of my piece of paper is right where the groove is. So I've got the line up here and the tip down here. And then I'm gonna take my cutting blade and bring it all the way to the top because I wanna cut on this surface, not on a point. And I'm gonna slice. So this piece can be used for something else. Okay, and before I show you the rest of that, we're gonna cut this real quick. I'll just leave that there so you know the dimension of that. So this is two and a half by two and by five and two, I can't even talk, by five and a quarter. And um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this so that it'll go on that slanted area. So we're gonna make, we can make two out of this one, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to measure uh, one and three quarters. So I put my paper at one and three quarters and I'm gonna just put a little dot there and then flip it around and do the same thing over here. And now I'm gonna stick the pencil lines in the groove, right over the groove. This doesn't work as well if you have a pattern that goes in one direction. So I, prefer, I recommend using something that's non-directional. But now I have two of these pieces, so I could use, I could make two cards. Okay, we only need one. <laughs> okay. So now I'm gonna score, I'm gonna fold, not really score, this and burnish that. And then I'm gonna fold this in and burnish it. So you have a nice, good folding card. Okay, so this piece is gonna go here, like so. And I will show you how to do that in just a second, actually. Okay, so let's do a couple more things. We're gonna take this piece. Oh, I forgot it, I forgot. Hold on, I need a scrap. I forgot a scrap. Where did I put my white? I just had it, there it is. <laughs> I need a white scrap. And I think that's big enough, yeah. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece that was left over from making the card and I'm gonna take my two and a half inch, or I'm sorry, two and a quarter inch punch. This is retiring, all of our circle punches are retiring. I'm very sad about that. We've got some wonderful dies coming that you're gonna really love, but our circle punches are going. So we're gonna take this punch and just punch a circle out of this and we can use the rest of that for something else and then I'm going to take a cer another one out of white Oop. all right so I'm done with that one okay I'm going to set these aside now and we are going, let's go ahead and get our die cutting done and then we'll do our stamping. How about that? Okay, so here's all of our pieces that we need to die cut. I'm gonna use my little baby boss for this. So for, before I do that, <laughs> for this, um, I am using the In Bloom, um, what am I saying? The In Bloom bundle, which I'm pretty sure is staying. Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> I grabbed a pristine one, not the one that's marked. 
kind of important to actually grab the one that has it in it, right? So yeah, so this is the in bloom and it is staying. It'll be in the new catalog. I love this. I think this set is awesome. So, okay, so we're going to take a few dies out of here. And I didn't add any leaves to my dies, but you could. Um, there's another set that I think is going called Perennial Petals that has some different styles of leaves that you could definitely add to this if you happen to have that one too. We have others, others that do the same thing, but um, that is what I used, so. I am just gonna use a few of the flowers that match some of the stamps I'm gonna be using. And then I also used these circle dies because I wanted to have a scallop that matched this piece that'll be on the front. So I used this third one down because it goes one, two, back to three. So it's the third smallest. Everybody still following me? <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I hope I'm making sense. Okay. So now I'm gonna bring this over here and I'll show you what we're going to cut here. So we have this piece here that's the two and three quarters by two and three quarters that I'm gonna cut this circle from. And then I'll go ahead and cut like one of these. And that was the one by one inch piece. So sometimes I feel the need to use some kind of tape or something to hold. Hey Beth, <laughs> I need to hold this down, it's moving around. To hold my dies down, but most of the time um, I, I don't. Okay, so we have this nice scallop circle now. And I do recycle all my scraps that I can no longer use. If I have, if there's enough space on them that I can use them, then I do. Otherwise, I, I recycle them. Okay, so we're done with that one. We have two more to go. We have our two by two and our one by one and a quarter by one and a quarter left. And that's for these two. So the front is going to be stamped by us. That's um, basically making our own DSP, which is really nice. My, my mat is like moving all over the place. Okay. Let me move this out of the way. I love that little guy because it just sits on my desk and I can use it whenever I need it. Move my dies out of the way so I don't lose them. I'll throw these in the scrap bin. Not the scrap bin, but the recycling bin. Okay, so we have our little flowers. Now, let's get some stamping done. So I'm gonna grab my mini pad here and as I said before, we're using the in colors. So here they are, aren't they beautiful? Um, I will, I think I'll grab them one at a time actually, cause it'll be easier. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the pink, which is polished pink. That's the new pink color. And I'm gonna grab my stamp set. And I'm just gonna pull this out of here so that I can use it easily. And I'm gonna grab this large flower that kind of looks like little heart petals. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ink this up and then I'm gonna stamp it off. Okay. Ink it up, stamp it off it up, stamp it off. All right, so we've got five big petals there. If we decide we want to add more later, we certainly can. 
I'm going to wipe this off just so I don't end up making a mess. <laughs> now we're going to take the, um, this one right here that looks kind of like a crazy splotch and we're going to go full strength in the center. Isn't that cool? And you can rotate it so they look different. That's what I do. You can even just rotate your paper as you're going. Okay. I'm going to close this up for now. Theoretically, we won't need it again, but we'll see. <laughs> All right. Everybody following still? You like the colors? Yeah, they're awesome. Now I'm going to open the Soft Succulent. This is a kind of a sagey color. And we are going to get one of the leaves. I think I'm going to use this leaf this time. This is a little bit different than what I did last time, but that is okay. All right, and we're going to go ahead and stamp these leaves in here. We want to get some different spots I just really want this color in the card because it's pretty and it's okay if it overlaps it's not the end of the world this is a very kind of free type of stamping set. All right. And now I'm going to take one of the insides of, I think I want that one, yeah. Is that the one I want? Yeah, this is the one I want. Close this up. And we're gonna take the Evening Evergreen this looks a lot darker on camera. I don't know why, but it's it's ends up quite soft. Of course, it ends up lighter than than it's showing up now, but it ends up a really nice soft sagey color. It's not soft sage, but it is a beautiful sagey color. So, this is just like an inside of the leaves to give it some till it looks a little more real. <laughs> I love this like two-step stamping, different layered looks. You can even add like little dots in the center if you want to. Um, I started to do that and I didn't like the way it turned out because I'd have to use a darker color and I wanted to stick with just these colors. So I changed my mind <laughs> and that's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna take the second, um, no, actually it's the third largest. It's the third largest of this style. And I am going to get my Fresh Freesia, which is the beautiful purpley pink. It's a pinky purple, actually, I guess. It's a purple. <laughs> I love it. And we're going to fill in some of these spots. It's a little bit, I always start with my biggest images first. Um, <laughs> hi, Iona. <laughs> And I'm using all the new colors. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and that was supposed to be stamped off. So that's going to get, um, yeah, hopefully hidden because <laughs> I made a boo-boo. I was talking and I wasn't paying attention. So we're stamping this off. And you notice that I'm going off the edge of my paper because if you don't go off the edge, a design like this looks really weird. You need it to go everywhere. Okay. And then, oops, we need the, the smaller splotchy one for the inside. Sorry about that. 
Now this we're gonna go full strength. And I'll rotate it so that it doesn't always look the same. And what you'll see with this one is while it looks, um, there is a difference, it's not as strong and as it fades, it's even less so. I wish I, did I keep the sample? I did, yeah, I did. It's in my scrap bin, hold on, I'm trying to get it. So one of the things that I have a really bad habit of doing when I'm doing something like this is if I'm not paying attention and I'm trying to do the stamp off method, I, I can do things like that and screw up. So just pay attention as you're going along so that you don't, you know, make that mistake. Just a little tip. <laughs> Beth. <laughs> Mine goes off. You're a mess. Okay, so as you can see here, this is full strength, and then the center here is full strength, and then I did black dots. And you can barely see, I don't even know if you guys can see it on camera, but you can barely see the difference. So it turned out much better when I did the stamp off method. Okay, that was my first attempt and I didn't like it. <laughs> Adjust, right? Okay, so now we're gonna take the smallest one here and it's not gonna have an extra layer on the inside. I mean, I suppose you could, but I'm not bothering with that. It's a very light color to begin with, and I didn't really feel like doing that, so I didn't. And I'm just kind of filling in different spots here. That'll be good. Okay. There is definitely less leaves on this one than I did on my other one because um, I felt like it was a little too full of leaves, but we'll see. You know, that's the thing about this is every single piece is different, and so it's uh, they're all unique, which is nice. Okay, so we are done with this piece. Now we're going to take this little white circle here that we need to stamp, and we're going to put so, you, so much to me. You mean so much to me, sorry. And I did, you might have noticed that this one is in the Fresh Freesia and this one is in the Evening Evergreen. Which do you like better as far as what color the sentiment is? Or should I do a different color? The purple? Yeah, it, it'll get hidden. I'm going to make sure it's on the bottom so it'll get hidden. Nobody will know. <laughs> What do you guys think? Margaret says the green, the evening evergreen. It's the same color as the background cardstock. Beth likes the evergreen, or do you want a different color? I can certainly do evergreen. Cheryl likes the green. Okay, it looks like we're headed that way. All right, so I'm gonna do the green. So we need the you mean so much to me. And this would make a really great Mother's Day card. Mother's Day is on its way. I grabbed You Are Amazing. You could do that too. Um, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna do it because I made a mistake and why not go with it, right? Okay, you are amazing. We're just gonna use a different sentiment on this one. <laughs> just go with it, it's a happy mistake. <laughs> no, I could have grabbed the other one, I'm just being a goofball. Okay, this one is a little bit bigger, so I'll have to change the position of my flowers just a little bit, but that is okay. All right, yeah, everybody wanted the evening evergreen for that, and that's fine. Okay, we need our flower colors one more time because I wanted to add a little something to these. So I am using our daubers and I am going to just go around the outside to give this a little bit of oomph. 
I don't even know if you noticed it on the card before, but it really does make a difference. It just gives it a little bit of texture and difference. And then I went ahead and just kind of did the center really lightly. Like that, okay? All right, so that one's done. I almost put my finger in that. And then we'll do the purple here. This is the Fresh Freesia. Got to get you guys used to these color names. <laughs> I hope you guys can't hear my trash guys out there, but they're being really loud. So we're going to do the same thing to this one. And then I'm not putting this back in the ink. I'm just using what's left and I'm going very gently in the center. Just to add a little oomph to that. And then the last one will be our pale papaya. That's the yellow color, kind of a yellowy orange. When you put it next to like um, soft, uh, so saffron, which is a light yellow, it looks more orange. So it is a yellow, but it's, it's also got a lot of orange in it. Papaya is a great name for it actually but it's very light, it's not a dark papaya. Okay, we're almost ready here. And then I can show you the, the how to make the locking mechanism. All right. So, let's move that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up and I'm gonna place this down on the front. What happened to that? I think it's getting low. I've been using this so much. Okay, so I'm gonna take my boo-boo and put it down here in the bottom because that's gonna get covered up for the most part. So I'm just gonna center that like so. And then I'm going to put, I'm gonna take the classic label punch, which is also retiring, FYI. What got stuck to that? <laughs> um, and I'm sad about that because this is great for these kind of things. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna just put this up here all the way down into the punch. And I wanna be, I'll show you on here. It might be easier to show you. I want to be maybe about half an inch or more away from the side. But we need to make sure that wherever we're going, it's going to notch into there. Okay. So about half an inch from the side and we'll punch that out. And if you get some fuzzies, just use your, that was two layers of cardstock, so it is, it is tough. I mean, it wasn't hard for me to punch it, but it is, sometimes makes a little, okay. I'm not gonna use this piece, but I am using this piece for something. So let me show you what I'm gonna do next. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put, actually, a little bit of adhesive on this end like so and then I'm gonna put it right back where it came from <laughs> and I'm gonna close my wing here if you will oh it moved okay there we go is that straight I hope that's straight yeah, I don't know why it moved. Okay, so now it's on here. So I'm gonna take my punch and I'm gonna go up from the bottom until I get to the thing, the little piece, and I'm gonna line it up with the piece and punch that out. So now I have my notch and then this can go in the trash. 
So that's how I line that up, okay? It's different from how Rachel does it, but it works for me. I hope you guys, I'm, I have to restart um, this because once again, it's being stupid. I don't know why it does that. You guys still there? I don't know what's going on here. Oh. Why are, what is going on? This is so weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Sorry guys, bear with me. Technology. <sighs> okay. I think I'm back. Yep, okay. Oh, I'm glad you like that, Mary. Thank you so much, Margaret. You guys are so sweet. Okay, I'm glad you can follow this well. Okay, so now we have li our little sliding lock area. So what I'm gonna do now is open this back up. Oh wait, sorry, before I move on. We have our little piece that's gonna go on here. So what I wanna do is I wanna make sure this piece is gonna, <laughs> if I can use my tape, I wanna make sure this piece is gonna stay where it needs to be and especially where the lock is gonna push into it. So on this um, diagonal edge, I'm actually gonna go all the way down. I don't, I don't wanna leave any gaps. That's a lot more tape than I normally use, but I wanna make sure that, that the locking mechanism doesn't push on that. So I'm just centering this and I kind of want to make sure that it's in the same um, line as this piece of paper. And um, this was from the new paper called, sorry, I want to make sure I get it right, Hand Pinned, okay? And the, um, sorry, double checking. Um, and then this piece is from the Pansy Petals. D DSP. So this is all new stuff that's coming your way. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do the same thing with this. I'm sorry, I forgot that piece. So we're going to just stick this in here and line that up with the uh, previous one and punch. And then we, that'll go in the trash. Okay, now we're done with this punch. <laughs> okay, now we're going to open this up and we'll go ahead and put our insert in here while we're here. So we have this piece that is whatever DSP you want to use, four and a quarter by five and a quarter. Isn't that cool on the backside, the leaves? If they matched, I would have used it because it's really pretty and it's got all those beautiful colors in it. But we're using this nice little gingham. And then this piece here, the two and three quarters by four is my little um, insert for writing on. So I'm just going to center this as best as I am able. The lines really help actually. <laughs> and then I'm going to take one of these little um, flowers and just so that I don't have to mess with opening this again later, I'm going to go ahead and put it on right there. Ha ha. Cute, huh? Okay. So now what we're going to do, this is a little trick that helps with this kind of thing. So we're going to take the circle that we punched. This is the two and a quarter inch punch. And you'll notice that I picked a circle that was big enough to cover this slot. Okay. So we're going to put this down and then I'm going to take some, um, washi tape and just tape this down on here. Okay. And then I'm going to close that. Now, I'm gonna take my dimensionals. It's really cool. One of the reasons I'm sad this is leaving is because this slot right here is exactly the shape of one of our dimensionals. And they fit just like right in there. So I'm gonna go all the way up to the edge with that. Just a little bit precise with it, so it takes a second. And then I'm gonna put a second one just like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna open this back up and I'll take 
the washi tape off so I don't have to mess with it once I get the rest of this on. This is kind of a, a good tip because I screwed that up the first time. <laughs> okay, so this will go in here just like that. And these will go there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece and we're going to pop that on here. I like having I like having mats to things. I just think it makes them so much prettier. And then we're gonna take this off. Actually, I'm gonna make sure that this is on when I do it. Okay, we're gonna take that off and we're going to put that over this area. Like so. Okay, so now it's locked, so you have to slide this over to open. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, I hope that makes sense. And the reason we only put two on the one side is because when I pull it this way, um, the this edge of the punch stops those dimensionals here before they go off the card. So if you put more, it won't go as it won't go as far over here. It'll stop like here and then you won't be able to open it. Okay. So you only want to put two. All right. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and get our flowers put on here. So I'm going to have to change how I did it from the other card since I used a different sentiment, but I think I can still put this one on the top. So that and then we'll take our little purple one and I think I'm gonna put it here yeah and you could use dimensionals on these but I figure since there's already dimensionals under here I don't know I just didn't want to hmm where do you think I should put that one I don't know Feels kind of weird there, but what do you guys think? Where would you put the little baby flower? <laughs> it's definitely different from this one because I, I had kind of this little bunch over here, but that's what I was trying to think. Should I put it up here? What do you guys think? up here, over here, over here, or somewhere down here. So top, left, right, or bottom. Give me, give me your, your uh, opinion. <laughs> oh goodness. Maybe there? To the right. You like it between the pink and you like it to the left. Guys, you can't all have a different opinion. That's not fair. <laughs> oh, goodness. I got two for the top, though. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, I'm going to go with the top then because that seems to be the consensus, at least for the most of you. <laughs> For those of you that are saying anything, so I do drawings, for those of you that maybe don't know, I do drawings, and when you participate um, by commenting, you can be put in the drawings, so do it my way. Well, that's just it. Sometimes I'm like, hmm, <laughs> I don't know. So there we go. Okay. Now we're going to put on these beautiful new um, in color, the new in colors, so the 21, 23 in color jewels, and they are um, Aurora Borealis rhinestones. And Aurora Borealis, a lot of times you'll see it abbreviated AB. So they have this just beautiful shifting color, which is gorgeous. Another thing I did differently between these two cards that I made previously is that I did the evergreen ones on this one, and I did the sage ones on this one. So I'm going to do the evergreen, I think because I liked it better when it's all said and done. 
And so now I just have to figure out where I want to put these because it's different from the other card. So I'm going to do one big and then two smalls. And mm, Ugh, it's stuck to my fingernail, guys. <laughs> and of course, you could put some out here too. I mean, do whatever you want, but there you go. So that is beautiful. And we could use any of these colors. I mean, it really doesn't matter. You like the darker. Yeah. I do too. I think it looks better with the darker. So we have three different cards here that were all made the same way the locking style, and I think they're gorgeous. I love the style. I love making my own DSP. You learned some techniques today, hopefully, that maybe you haven't seen before. Um, these are really, it's really cool to make your own DSP, and um, it's fun to do something that's just different as well. Um, before I do my drawing for free product, I want to do a couple of quick announcements. Anybody who's new, um, I do classes every Friday and Saturday at 2 p.m. Central. So on Fridays, I do things like this. I do a fun fold card once a month. I do craft organizing, paper crafting 101, and advanced paper crafting. And then on Saturdays, I do my monthly class, which we um, just did last weekend. We'll be doing paper pumpkin with alternatives this weekend. My monthly club is the third week, and then the fourth week is either a paper share or a kit class or mystery stamping. So we have a lot of fun, and I hope that you will join us for any and all of these classes. Also, if you are interested in shopping with me, you can go to my website at shamelessstamper.com, and um, you can go to the shopping area. And if you want to order this month, the month of April, with this host code, when you order $60 or more, you'll get a free set of blue adhesive back gems. My May card club is still open until the 21st. This is a beautiful class. And here's a sneak peek. We do four projects. There's also an add-on layout for people who are local. But we do four projects. This is one of them. And we are using the Sand and Sea Bundle. And it is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I can't even tell you. Like, look at this pearlescent paper. I mean... It's so great. In fact, everyone who does the club this month will be um, also getting a blending brush so that you can do this background here. So that'll be really nice. And it's just a beautiful card. I, and the other three are gorgeous as well. Um, I think we're doing all cards that month. So, so that is um, open until the 21st. So just text me if you're interested in doing that and I can give you more information. Also, um, I am doing, if you want to join me, on the 24th, I will be doing the kit class for the, you are, let's see, you are, what's it called? Hello Dear Friend, sorry. The kit class for the Hello Dear Friend, and we'll make the actual cards plus a ton of alternatives, and I even did a layout. So if you'd like to join us, jump on and watch, you can, you can always order this kit afterwards and come back and you know watch the video again I made a layout with this that I think just turned out absolutely gorgeous I'm very happy with that could also be used as a well it could be used for anything but it could be used as a Mother's Day if you wanted to and what else is left I want to make sure I tell you everything that's important because there's a lot of important stuff oh my paper share of course is coming up we've got this brand new look at look at look at look at look at look i gotta show you the brand new catalog we have this beautiful brand new catalog guys and i cannot wait to show you everything in here as soon as may may 4th may yeah as soon as may 4th comes along i'm going to do a walkthrough of the catalog with you guys and i do have catalogs ready to go to everybody so if you need a catalog and you need a demonstrator i would be happy to help you out um and i can get you a catalog but i'll be doing my paper share and my paper share is more than a regular paper share for anyone who ever has done one before and it is, of course, a quarter of every pack of paper that, of the new DSP. There are 16 of them. That's 180 sheets of paper. 
it's a great value, guys. It's sixty-five dollars for all for a quarter of all those all the papers, and you also get ten card kits. You can ask anybody on here who's ever done it. Um, it is a ton of fun. We we um, do the ten card kits, and um, those are like a gift for me, basically. And then I also do other gifts. Um, we will do a fun party on. Facebook, this says Zoom, that's wrong, on Facebook with prizes, so we'll be doing that as well, um, and if you want to add the specialty paper share, it's another $8, and if you want to buy the stamp um, bundle, which is the, I now actually have it in hand, the Pansy Patch bundle, it is amazing, um, we'll be using that for all the sentiments and such for all the cards. Or you can just buy the stamp set if you wanted to. Um, and I will give you that with free shipping. So that is a really, really great deal. It's a wonderful deal. Um, and I, as Cheryl says, um, uh, most of my people who do it with me, they, they never miss another one. Um, because it's just, it's just they're, they're fun. And you get all of the paper, which is amazing. If you want to sign up for Paper Pumpkin, that um, you need to sign up for the So Cool box by the 10th. Just want to remind everybody about that, and that is tomorrow. And if you'd like the spring bingo so that you can try to earn one of these for free, let me know, and I will have an annual bingo going out with all of my catalogs. So anybody who wants to do the annual bingo, you can do that as well. All right, well, I think that is it, guys. Let me give you a, let me do a drawing real quick, and then I will let you go. So, ooh, I gotta grab I gotta grab something out of my treat box here. Let's see, what do we wanna do? Hmm, what do you guys want? You want paper? Just curious. <laughs> Paper's always good. How about I'm going to let whoever wins the first drawing pick between these papers. Okay. So we have here the Oso Ombre, oh, oh, can't even talk. Oso Ombre Designer Series paper. Oh wait, I think I have, do I have any of the in color paper? Oh, I do, okay. I'll, I'll put four in here. <laughs> okay, so the Oso Ombre paper, which is wonderful, or you could get the 19, to 21 in color designer series paper from the 19 catalog, 2019 catalog. These are all from the 2019 catalog, these top three. Or the brights or the 1820, which this is, these colors are retired. These are these beautiful rainbow colors with the lo lovely lipstick. And these are the colors that are about to leave. So we're getting the new colors here, but we're, lo we're losing these. So if you're interested, Whichever one you're interested in, I will give you. So I'm going to do the roll, and then um, next week I'll draw from this from this week's video. So anybody who watches the replay, make sure you comment plenty on it as well, because I will do a drawing next week for everybody who's commented since then and from the beginning. So those of you that are live with me get two chances. <laughs> so it always pays to be live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. I am scrolling. Margaret Brady. Margaret Brady, you won, and you get to pick one of these papers, and then next week someone can pick from the le whatever's left. Okay. Let me put your name on this. Congratulations. Margaret, let me, I want to write this down. I need you to text me, Margaret. Um, with your address so I can send you one of these packs of paper, whichever one you want. Whichever one you want. Or you can tell, you know, you can tell me on here if you want to tell me which one. But hello, Terry Lee. So, oh, whoops, I just moved from your name and I need to write it down correctly. Is it Margaret or is it Margaret? How do you say it? I know people say that differently, so I want to make sure I'm saying it correct. And I assume that's Brady. I hope that's correct. Oh, 
Oh, look at all you people saying congrats. You're so sweet. Terry Lee, are you new here? Not sure if I've seen your name before. Okay. Ta-da! So whichever one she picks, I will... Okay, good. Well, it's gl I'm glad to have you, Terry. I hope you'll join us again. Like I said, I'm on live every Friday and Saturday at 2 p.m. Central. You can always watch the replays on my Facebook channel or my YouTube channel, which is Shameless Stamper, Jerry Mobley, Shameless Stamper. Put those in and you'll find it. And, um... Welcome. We we love having new people and we hope that you join us over and over. We like to have a lot of fun here, so we goof off a lot too. <laughs> so, uh and a reminder, if anybody needs a catalog, please let me know. Those of you who are my tried and true customers, you know you're going to get one anyway. So, um but if you um have never worked with me and you're, you would like to have me as your demonstrator, I would be more than happy to do that and um, get you a catalog in the mail because, oh boy, it's going to be so much fun. This catalog is really good. It's really good. So, all right. I love, uh, you lost, oh, <laughs> Margaret. I don't know if you can hear me now, but um, if somebody doesn't mind, because I can't do it right now, if somebody doesn't mind typing in there for her to text me at my number, so that I can get her address. I'd appreciate it. Um, but anyway, so I hope you guys have a great week. I will see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central um, for um, a really fun paper pumpkin with alternatives. So love you guys. God bless.